Before we paint, we have some very, very important business to discuss in the art room. The first thing you need to know is the proper way to hold your paintbrush. When we hold our paintbrush, we always grip it like a pencil, like this. We grip it right here behind the silver part. We don't wanna hold our brush way at the top or in the middle or way down here. That's a no-no. Make sure that you move your hand right behind the silver part and hold it like a pencil. This silver part is called the danger zone. It's called that because if we put our hand in the danger zone, our hand is in danger of getting paint on it. And we don't want that to happen. We don't want any hands or paint on this silver part or the danger zone. So we are not holding our brush in the danger zone. Make sure it's right behind the danger zone like this. The next thing you need to know is about a ballerina's tippy toes. If you look at my brush, it's nice and pointed. All of the little hairs or the bristles are nice and straight and nice and pointed, just like a ballerina on her tippy toes. And we wanna keep it that way. When you're painting today, you will paint like this so that your ballerina's tippy toes or your brush's bristles stay nice and pointed like this. If I see anyone mashing their brush down like this, that is incorrect. When we mash our brush down like this, our ballerina is not on her tippy toes, she's on her bottom. And we call that the booty scooting ballet. But we don't wanna go there today. So if I see anyone pushing their brush down so it's scooting on its bottom, you might have to take a painting break. Make sure that your brush's bristles stay nice and pointed and you're kind of tickling the paper so you're not pressing down hard or mashing that brush flat. It's staying nice and pointed the whole time you're painting. When we paint an art, we also use something very silly called a doggy dish. No doggies in here, but we use them to clean our brushes. When your brush needs to be cleaned, you are gonna find the water section of your doggy dish, and you're gonna dip your brush to the bottom of the doggy dish and push, push, push. This cleans the paint off of your brush. Do you see how I'm finding the bottom of the dish and push, push, pushing? I'm cleaning my brush. And we're going to do that until all the paint is off. My brush is clean right now, but later when your brush is dirty, you wanna scrub, scrub, scrub until all the paint is off. And then we tap, tap, tap to get the extra water off. And then we're gonna use a sponge. This is dirty old SpongeBob because he's gonna help us clean our brush even more and help us dry our brush. And he gets dirty with paint, so he's dirty old SpongeBob. When you're done tapping your brush, you're gonna wipe, 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 like you're making an X on the sponge. You're gonna do that a couple of times and then your brush should be ready to go for another color. You're never gonna lift your doggy dish. Miss Dalmy's gonna lift it to move it out of the way, but you will leave it on your table so that it doesn't spill. All right, let's get to painting. We're going to be painting today using red, yellow, and blue, the primary colors. We're going to be painting the puddles under each mouse and we're going to be mixing the primary colors together today. Remember, if anyone is not following the directions of the video, you will be taking a painting break. Miss Dalmy takes painting very seriously in here, so make sure you do everything the video tells you to do. Remember, we're holding our brush pencil grip just like the pencil and we're holding it right behind the danger zone. Let's start by using some yellow. So you're going to bring your brush over to the plate where you have a little squirt of the primary colors. Find the yellow and you're going to dip just a little bit. Do not lift your plate, but I'm gonna lift mine so you can see what I'm doing. Get a little bit of yellow on your brush. If you get yellow on the silver part or the danger zone, you might be taking a painting break. Remember, no paint, no hands in the danger zone. And let's start with this mouse way over here on this side, okay? We are going to paint the puddle under the mouse. If you accidentally get it on his little feet, that's okay. And start by sweeping like a broom or your pointed tippy toes, spreading the paint under your mouse's feet. If you need a little bit more, you're gonna get a little itty bitty bit. If I see anyone using a big glob of paint, you will be taking a painting break. Now, you don't need to color the whole thing. I have a little bit of white spot right there because now we're going to be mixing and we're gonna fill in that extra spot. 
I want you to find an empty space on your newspaper away from your paper and just kind of wipe the paint off. And if a little bit is still on there, that's okay because we're gonna be mixing. Now, let's get a little bit of red and then we're gonna paint it right on top of the yellow. Isn't that so silly? But yes, we are gonna paint it right on top of the yellow while it's still wet. And when you paint, you are swirling and mixing your brush. Remember to keep your brush nice and pointed. Never mash it down like you're going to the booty scootin' ballet. And as you move your brush around, what is happening? Your red and your yellow are mixing together to make orange. I used a very itty bitty bit of red. If you use a lot of red, it might not turn orange. It might just look really light red. So make sure that you use a little itty bit of red paint. If you want to put a little bit of paint on your mouse's feet, that would be fine because they use their feet for mixing. Or maybe a little bit of paint on his face because I'm sure those mice got messy. But if I see you painting your whole mouse's body, or face with the orange paint, you're gonna be taking a painting break and we're not painting the sky around our mouse either. We're only painting the puddle, orange, a little bit on his feet, and if you want, a little bit on his face. And that is it. When you're done painting, you're going to clean your brush. If you accidentally went outside of this puddle of paint or the curvy line, that's okay. Just try not to let it happen again. All right, cleaning our brush. Remember when we're done with the orange, um, painting part, we're going to find the water side of our dish and we're gonna scrub, scrub, scrub. And we're gonna keep scrubbing until that orange paint looks like it's gone. Mine's not gone yet. So I'm gonna scrub, 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 find the bottom. I like to turn my brush a little bit so I can clean all sides of it. Turn it, scrub it. I think that's good. Tap, tap, tap and wipe it. Wipe on dirty old SpongeBob. If you think you still have orange on your brush, let's do it again. Scrub, turning, scrubbing and turning. Tap, tap, and then wipe, 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 wipe. Wow, that's pretty clean. All right, let's do yellow again. But this time we're gonna mix it with another primary color. It's kind of like magic, isn't it? Now let's get our brush ready. Hold it behind the silver part of the danger zone. Let's get a little bit of yellow on our brush, about that much. Don't get any yellow in the danger zone or you might be taking a painting break and then go to your paper. When you run out of yellow, you can get a little bit more, just a little bit, not a lot. And remember, you don't have to paint the whole puddle. Leave a little bit of white space so we can mix that blue in because we're using blue next. Find an empty spot on your newspaper again and just wipe off the extra yellow gonna have to work quickly so that yellow paint doesn't dry okay it's okay if you still have yellow paint because we're gonna be doing some mixing how much blue the little bittiest tiny bit you can get because we don't want to make it all blue we want it very little bit because yellow is such a light color we do not need a lot of blue the tiniest bit of blue oh my goodness what is happening I am covering my yellow paint with my blue coated brush and it's turning green. Green is a secondary color, just like orange because two primary colors make a secondary color. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. You can paint his feet if you want. And if you want to put some little dots of paint on his body or his face, go for it because he got messy. But if you cover your whole mouse with green paint, his whole body or his whole face. I'm gonna be upset and you're gonna to have to take a break. Just a little bit and don't paint around here. We wanna keep our sky nice and white. I love it. You're swirling your brush around, but you're not pressing it down like the booty scootin' ballet, remember? All right. When you're done with your green paint, you're going to clean your brush, find the water, scrub, scrub, scrub. Turn your brush with your hand, scrub, scrub, scrub. Turn your brush with your hand. Tap, tap, tap. Wipe, 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 wipe. I still have some green on my brush, so I'm gonna do it again. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Tap, tap, tap. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Very good. I think my brush is pretty clean. Okay, now 
let's do the two colors we haven't used yet. We haven't used red and blue. Let's start with blue. Going to get a little bit of blue on your brush, about that much. And you have one puddle left. Try not to get it on the green puddle or the orange puddle. And look how beautiful this primary blue is. When you run out, get some more. Don't paint the whole puddle because we're gonna be doing some mixing. If you go off the paper like I did, that's okay because you have a newspaper underneath. Then find an empty spot on your newspaper. You don't wanna wipe it on the yellow spot. I might have to move over here. Just wipe off a little bit. If it doesn't all come off, it's okay. Just kind of wipe, wipe a little bit. And then get the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of red, just a little. And then mix it with your blue by bringing it to your paper and mixing. And the blue and the red makes violet or purple. Wow, it looks so amazing. I'm gonna get a little bit more red. I mean the tiniest bit. If I see anybody with a big glob of red, I'm going to have you take a break. Because I just had a lot of blue. I didn't see a lot of my red mixed in. Now it's looking more violet. Wow. Once you paint your whole puddle, you can paint his little paws a little bit. Remember, we're not painting the whole body, just a little few little dots of paint to show that he was working like an artist. And when you're done, we're going to put our brush in the water just like that. We don't need to clean it because we're going to bring it to the cleaning hot tub later. I had the best time learning about primary colors with you boys and girls, and you all did an awesome job.